Plan to Eat is such a wonderful meal planning website. It is not, however, a place to find recipes. It's a place to hold your recipes, recipes that you have chosen, either that you've typed in from family heirloom recipes or recipes that you find on the web that you import in. And so we want to talk today about how to actually import a recipe into Plan to Eat. It is very simple. We've talked in one screencast about what happens when the recipe does not import well and what you can do to transfer the information from a website into Plan to Eat. But now I'd like to show you an example of a recipe that imports beautifully into Plan to Eat and how that looks. So first of all, I'd like to head over to the Pioneer Woman's blog. And she has so many great recipes. Let me scroll to the top here so you can see that. This is going to be Parker House Rolls. And she's got several photos and instructions of how to create these. But at the bottom, she includes a recipe, including ingredients and directions. And so we want to import this into Plan to Eat. So all we need to do is go up to the Plan to Eat bookmarklet. And we talked about this in the other screencast, that this is very easy to add into your bookmark toolbar. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save Recipe. And then we'll watch what happens. Now you'll see that the recipe was successfully imported, but there is a note here to make sure that we don't have any missing information or errors. So we just want to quickly glance here. We have the title, the course would be breads, and some of these things you'll need to add in. The source is right here. In fact, it looks like just a short URL, but when you hover over it or click on it, it actually goes to the full URL of the site, which is brilliant. I really like that. And you can add a description after you've made the rolls, perhaps. And it does give the listing here of the servings, 36, and how much prep time and cook time. All of this comes right over from the Pioneer Woman site. And it lists the ingredients. Even tells what categories they're in. That's in brackets there. And then it gives the directions. You can add tags now if you like, or you can do that at some future time and you can mark it as private if you wish or you can leave it as public. I'm going to mark it as private just because I'd like to pull it over into my site and make sure that everything is exactly right before making it public. And now all you need to do is click to recipe book. Here's one other interesting feature that the Plan to Eat bookmarklet has. Of course it has a link directly to the recipe and even to your whole recipe book. But then it also has add to queue which is a place where recipes are marked, ones that you want to use in the near future. So you can mark that. And you can also add it directly to your planner to put it right onto your meal planner. At this point, we'll just add it directly to the side and we won't mark either of those. But I wanted to mention those because those can be very, very helpful for those who are importing recipes on a regular basis. Now let's check it out over here in Plan to Eat. We can see that it has all the information right from the website. And you might want to go in and make some adjustments to the ingredients as far as what categories you would find them in in your store. We won't go into those details right now, but you'll see that each ingredient here is listed. The amount, the unit, the ingredient, some notes if you wish to add them later, and then what grocery category that would be in. For instance, two sticks of butter, I would mark that as dairy. So you can mark that if you see anything that stands out. And of course, you can always come back and adjust things later. But this is nice because it automatically tells you what grocery category they fall into. And then those will also transfer over to your shopping list. So this is how to import a recipe into Plan to Eat. It's very simple to use the bookmarklet. You just drag it up into the bookmark field up there at the top if you're in Chrome or if you're an Internet Explorer. I believe you right click to add that to your favorites. And then you would just mark any recipes and pull them over through the import function. So if some people say, oh, this site doesn't have recipes, I don't care for it, I like some other recipe sites better, don't let that be a stumbling block or a hindrance to you from using the site. It's very simple to pull over recipes with the import function, and so I encourage you to give that a try, and I wanted to show you just how simple it really could be. So good luck importing your recipes. There's so many on the web that you can find. I've already mentioned the Foodly website, foodly.com, F-O-O-D-I-L-Y.com. Of course, Pioneer Woman is another good example. All recipes, Epicurious.com, there are many, many sites that can be of help to you. So feel free to import those into Plan to Eat, and then you can pull them into your planner and actually eat them for the week. So good luck doing the importing, and I hope this has proven helpful to you.